Good morning, everyone. I am excited to be here in Maryland this morning. Uh, real quick, I did finally get a fix for my Wi-Fi. I currently have AT&T Wi-Fi available right now on the road, so I've got everything taken care of with that business aspect of things, so that's good. And I'm going to go outside and show you where I'm at here in Maryland and kind of what's going on. Jax, do you want to just sleep until I get back? Do you want to just wait here? No? Okay. But uh, the sun's out, and I will also mention, for the record, as you will see two vans down here that some YouTubers might recognize. We have kind of started to band together. Some of us are going to the same place eventually in Texas in January. So although there'll be a lot of different routes, um, um, there might be a couple times where we meet up again uh, with Josh and Luke here um, as we all kind of travel south. So that's cool. But right across the street here, you got the harbor the water, the bridge, it's really pretty. And I don't know any information about the marina itself. I do know these little stations here are for the boats. Um, I don't know who you would have to talk to because right here there is 120 volt power available. Um, I don't know, if you were in an RV and you called the city and wanted to pay some fee, maybe you could tap into their electric. I'm not, I'm not sure how that works. but. Anyway, uh, Pocomoke City. So I will pop down some GPS coordinates of this parking spot right here because although it's not a campground, um, it was a safe place to overnight park and I'm happy with that. Okay, well I'm always late on my magnets and stickers. We'll start with New Jersey with the lighthouse. Loving it, loving it. And then I got a new New York one. Um, I already had mine from upstate New York, but this one encapsulizes so many different places of downtown New York that I visited, like the Brooklyn Bridge and the World Trade Center Memorial and the Statue of Liberty out in Staten, out by Staten Island and everything. So I, I feel like even though it looks really cliche for the city, um, it really fits everything that I actually hit in New York City. Okay, and Delaware sticker, you are late. Sorry about that, buddy, but you're on there now. And Maryland, that's where we are today. Awesome. Hey everybody, so I'm over here at Walmart in Pocomoke City, Maryland now. Just for the record, I got um, a visit from law enforcement telling me that for whatever reason I could not park where I had parked overnight uh, over there. Um, and I said, why is that? And he said that there is a rule that no RVs can park there. Cars can park there up to seven days at a time, but RVs can't. And then we got in a little disagreement where he thinks I'm a commercial vehicle and I told him I'm not and I offered him my insurance to prove that I'm not a commercial vehicle blah blah blah. Anyway, no codes given, no violations given, no information given except that he didn't want me there. Again, I keep running into this. No matter how much research you do, if you don't find any rules against parking a vehicle of this diameter where, the, where it's allowed to be parked, you can still get a visit from somebody saying, I don't want you here. So I don't know what else to say. Walmart's okay because it's private property. Moving on, no, no biggie. I'm adding this. This is my, how basically how I get rid of moisture in the RV, but mostly the bathroom because I had the plants that were getting mold on them. These are at Walmart for like $4.88. They last a month. Maybe you can get a little more out of that, but you just take the foil off the top, keep the paper, put the lid back on, and find a spot to put this where it's not gonna spill. So uh, here in the bathroom, I will show you where I'm going to just kind of jam this guy in the corner back there. Just kind of out of sight, out of mind, and remember to replace it. I'd like to do it every one month, but hmm, oh well. Okay, and then I got this gap um, on the screen door slider. It's a half inch gap that lets in flies and gnats, and I've never understood why it just... Well, it's just letting in air and and bugs and stuff. So so what I did was I got three quarter inch, half inch wide wide uh, weather stripping, and I'm gonna put that on the door to try to uh, patch that up a little better. Okay, so that worked better than I ever could imagine. I got the exact right size, the half inch by three quarter inch, adhered it right there. And when you close this little slider, woohoo! Absolutely no bugs are gonna get in. I know there's a little bit of still right there that needs to be sealed on the outside or caulked in the inside, but. 
hey, no more flies are going to get in here. That's awesome. And then the last project I'm going to do, like I did in my other um, RV, is I am going to update the very outdated shower head that is in my shower. I chose a model here from Walmart for 20 bucks that is energy efficient and tries to save water. So that's a good thing. As I remember, these are pretty much just plug and play, easy to replace. So here we go. All right, now for the record, with the old nozzle, technically this, I could just detach it right here and put the new head on this, but I actually do want to replace this hose because it has also developed some corrosion and mold and stuff. And up here at the top where it's often hung from, there's that kink that it is just getting really brittle and I'm, I'm nervous about it. So I'm gonna, since I got the new hose, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it through and uh, run the new hose up here and then install the shower head. And this should pretty much just be able to twist by hand, but I guess we'll see. There we go. Go ahead and plug the new hose in here. Just want to turn the water on real quick and check for leaks. Make sure. No leaks here. That's good. Okay, then the new head is just going to be the same exact thing. Really easy. Like I said, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. And then we'll uh, turn it on and test it here. There we go. I don't need to replace any hardware. This is hopefully just going to fit in there. Yep, the reason why it fits in there because this is the same end that was on there before. I wasn't getting much pressure in the other one before, but if I turn the water on now, you can see a lot more pressure coming out now. That is really nice to be able to close that and not have flies getting in there. Um, like any other Walmart, as the sun goes down, there's always the chance that um, a tractor trailer semi can park next to you and run their engine. In this case, he's going to idle his engine right back there where the back of my RV is, where I'm gonna to try to sleep tonight. But I wasn't ever going to stay here for the entire night. I just wanted to park this way so that I could get better solar. Uh, what I can do is either hop over here and then the back of my RV will be against that fence and I can only take up one spot um, or I can find another quieter place away from the highway. But I'm going to sleep here tonight and then Jax and I will be heading south and we'll have to go from here. I'm not sure how, many, how often like, I'm going to meet up with Luke and Josh on the road and stuff, but um, I do kind of want to do my thing as well and kind of leaving my schedule open as I travel south. So see you guys in a couple days. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos and keep following us on the road. Thanks guys.